Good morning, kids. It's your boy, Sterling. I swear to God, if I ever actually say that in a video, please unsubscribe, dislike, and just delete YouTube off of your devices. If I ever say it's your boy, Sterling. Today, I wanted to make a video on my favorite holsters. Uh, this is Lag Tactical. Um, this fits my uh, H and K VP9. This is the the match model. Uh, you can see it's got an O-ring on the uh, barrel there, and you know the slide has been cut, so it's lightened a little bit. Um, I also have the Trigicon SRO, which uh, makes makes this an absolute awesome gun. Um, I've changed, uh, with H and K's, they have uh, changeable back strap and, and sides and stuff. So I've got this gun pretty much perfectly sized to my hands. And uh, it's it's always been my kind of range toy. Um, it, it's, it's too fancy to be a, an everyday carry kind of gun. Um, as you can see, we're clear, we're empty. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I've I've had this gun for a few years now, and uh, just I think about a year ago, I uh, found this holster for it, which is always leave your guns breech open. I I found this holster, and it was actually in a store there in Sparks, Nevada, and I've got it set up to where my belt goes through these uh, through these hoops here um, so it's outside the waistband they also include clips uh, to make it inside the waistband which means you know basically it'll mount on this side and it's just a, a slide over clip um, it comes with with the holster so let's take a look and see how it fits we're clear empty so I, I knew with the gigantic Trigicon SRO, it was going to be very difficult to find a holster that would fit this. And I don't know if if uh, Lag Tactical did this on purpose, but you'll see locked in. It's actually made for a Trigicon SRO. I don't know if you can see the. It's, it's absolutely perfect. And they tell you, if you go to their website, um, like if you have an optic on your gun, they will actually, you know, mold. Uh, you can bring your gun down to them and they'll they'll mold it. These are made in Reno, Nevada. And uh, as you can see, it, it, it fits the gun perfectly. Um, I've never had any issues with it. And it covers, you know, covers the trigger really well. So, you, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be pulling the trigger or anything. Um, it covers your magazine release really well, so nobody can, you know, come up behind you and release your mag. So, maybe a little bit right here. H and K's are, are, are kind of weird with the magazine release. Uh, I, there's not so much, I, there's not too much I can show on YouTube. Uh, but basically, it's just a little paddle right here will drop the magazine. But, yeah, it's it's been an awesome gun. And uh, I might take it out here a little bit later and, and make a little bit of noise with it. Just a little bit of noise. I don't want to disturb the piece. Uh, this is the HK VP9. It is the match model. And as you can see, the, the slide, this is all done in factory. Um, the, the reason for the O-ring, because if you notice on, on a semi-auto, when the slide racks back, the barrel itself will jiggle or move. And that O-ring helps to seat it in the slide a little bit better. It's kind of a cool little trick. Um, let's see if I can show the kids a little better there. But uh, it's it's absolutely awesome. I, I've I've loved this gun. I wish I could carry it every day, but it's just it's just too big and bulky. Um, and I'll see if I can show you. This isn't a loaded weapon, of course. But you can see the, the laser 
the red dot. It's kind of hard to focus. Um, and then it's got glow in the dark sights uh, from the factory. You know, high visibility sights. But with the with the SRO, they're totally useless. I, I would have to use a, you know, like a, a raised sight to be able to co-witness. But yeah, like I said, it's awesome gun. We'll we'll probably take it out here in a little bit and and warm it up. Oh, and before I forget, um, these come with I think three uh, twenty round magazines, and uh, it's it's heavy. It's that, the, the other reason that I don't use this for everyday carry is that it's super heavy. But uh, yeah, thought I wouldn't. Uh, forget about telling you about that so this is basically how I wear it um, I only really wear the gun at the range but uh, it's easy to pull <clears throat> it doesn't have a you know uh, like a level 3 retention or anything like that it's it's all friction but it's it fits fine I like it it's always it's always treated me good So last night, I set up a camera to do uh, some cool GoPro tricks, um, star trails, I think they call it. So we'll see the results on that later. So these are the targets <clears throat> that I got set up here in the backyard. Got a nice little back drop right there, backstop. And uh, they're just, you know, your average spinny targets you know and uh, approximately 25 yards so I'm usually pretty good at, at this range let's see how we do it's nice having my own gun range here in the backyard. All right, so I'm not really using any of my fancy cameras or my microphones or anything like that, so I do apologize for that. But we got we got our little toy right here. Always wear protection, kids. And uh, let's see if I can't embarrass myself over here. I can't show you how to rack the slide on YouTube, but uh, we're live. We're loaded. Actually, let me show you something. None of my weapons have a safety, so do not try this at home. But in the back of the VP9, you'll see that little red dot that pops up. Also, let's see if I can show it without flagging myself. That's the loaded chamber indicator. You'll see a little bit of red sticking out, and this sticks out a little bit. So, we're live, and... Uh, Let's see if I can't screw up. It's been a while since I shot this. Oh wow, I think I'm off by a lot. Hold on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. You can see it works pretty damn good when uh, you get used to the red dot. I'm shaky. What the hell? There we go. There we go. There we go. Miss. There we go. That was 20 shots with what? How many did I miss? Were you kids keeping count? I sure as hell wasn't. There's uh, 20 rounds in each one of these magazines.
and just for uh, safety's sake, you should be able to pull from the holster and get your target, right? Grazed it. My pull of the shot is kind of slow. Saw that one, that was way low. I didn't take the time to stare at the target. Taking my time. I'm gonna draw left target, right target. Missed it. Missed my holster. I'm going to pull right target, left target. I'm going to do that one again. Right target, left target. For some reason, I'm shooting low on the first one. I'll try it again. Right target, left target. For me, it's difficult because <clears throat> I don't have much experience with optics. I, 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 I bring it up and then the red dots dancing all over the place. Having a heavy, heavy frame pistol like this helps. Um, I know with my everyday carry, my 43X Glock, uh, I just got normal sights on it and I, I don't struggle like this. Right target, left target. One, two, three, four. Wow. <laughs> Missed them both. Like I said, uh, that red dot was just bouncing all over the place. Try it again. <clears throat> oh, we're empty. So that concludes the fun today. I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Well, uh, uh, through creative editing, I'll I'll number the shots and whether it was a miss or a, or a fail. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, stay tuned. And like I said, I, I did some star trails with the GoPro and, and we'll show you that. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I appreciate you. Uh, like and subscribe, you know, you know the drill, right? Actually, don't like. Unsubscribe. Tell random people to subscribe to my channel. And uh, have a day. Mm -hmm.